After that, we'll move to the Google Analytics. This is very, very important here. We say that Google Analytics is a web analytics service offered by Google to track and report website traffic. All right, to track and report website traffic. Now, how do we go to our Google Analytics? Unlike the Google Search Console right here, the URL here is analytics.google.com. All right. Now, for you to go to this uh, URL, make sure you are logged into at the email address of your website, all right? The email address you're using claiming your website property, all right? So right here, you are going to see the active users right now. So let's assume you have 50 people that is presently uh, in one of the pages or posts of your website. You're going to see the number right here. If you come to this page, you're going to see the number of users I have in my website presently. Then right here, I'm having 11 users and this is uh, 11 sessions and the likes. You scroll down you're going to see the traffic channels you scroll further right here you're going to see the sessions uh, by country you can see india right here you can see nigeria here you can see greece here you can see indonesia here this is more like the charts of the countries all right you can see the device charts here you can see i'm having 54.5 percent from mobile users and desktop is 45.5 all right you can see these are the top pages on my users visits this is our uh, list of interesting inter-house sports competition for your school 2022 you can see the page view here is six i'm having six page views here and right here this uh this is another post here then move to the customization here under the customization we have the dashboard right so now the dashboard we talk about the audience overview all right so have the audience overview we have the acquisition uh, overview then we have the uh behavior overview right so we are going to view all of that one after the other right so right here this is the google analytics audience overview you can see it's dated from 24th of february to 25th of march all right so this is just a month interval right here i'm having 208 users uh new users i'm um, having 204 then the number of sessions here then the sessions here you can go through all of this right here these are the top languages that visit my website you can see english here is 161 new users is 158 and uh, the likes all right if you come to this session here this is country breakdown i'm having more stores from africa then followed by america europe asia and the uh, likes all right and right here we are having the device what device are people using right here i'm having more from mobile uh, i'm having a total user of 170 uh, users then uh, new users for this month is 167 desktop 35 new users 24 tablets three new users three all right so right here you can see all of this here then under this place here you can select the continent you want this is western africa this is uh, north america if you uncheck any of these you can view your traffic source for uh, a particular continent all right so right here this is where you get to make that change and we move to the regions all right this is uh, Lagos. this is federal capital territory abuja this is uh north carolina this is a uh, country dublin all right you can uncheck any of these to uh see the traffic source from any particular region right after that we we'll move to the channels here right so we're having more direct traffic followed by the social traffic before the organic traffic then the referral traffic is just nine right then after that we talk about the devices we have the mobile desktop tablets and all of that so that's that for the google analytics audience view next thing here is the google analytics acquisition overview right here if you scroll down you will see the sources of our traffic here this is coming from facebook this is coming from google organic this is coming from offer learners space this is coming from facebook it's coming from bing bing uh, is a search engine all right i've also indexed my website in bing search engine all right that's why you are seeing the bing organic traffic right in this place and right here this is from facebook this is from mighty down let's publishers one of the websites i manage then right here this is um, mail.google.com this is from ecosia.org and the like so you can view the source of your traffic right here right so that's basically what uh, the google analytics uh, acquisition overview is about then after that we move to the google analytics behavior overview all right if you scroll down here you're going to see which page is the most popular but basically here the page that is 
performing our well move stage, this particular one that is called how to reduce debtors in your school, right? Followed by this, should you reduce the standard of your school and the likes all of that. So you can come right here to view the pages that are performing well in Google search engine, all right? After that, you move to the most popular pages with title breakdown, right? This is uh, where you can get the title breakdown, how to reduce debtors. We're having one and seven view here. Right here, we're having 35, 24, 17, 15, 13, 13, and the likes. Right, so this is very, very important. Right, so that's that for the dashboard area. After that, we move to the custom reports. All right, under the custom reports, you can also view custom reports for audience overview. All right, so just take your time to go through all of this. Google Analytics actually tracks and reports website traffic. All right, so all you just need to do is to go through all of this one after the other. You can see. Uh, this is similar to what you've seen before right so after all of that uh, let's move to the real time here that the real time will have the overview the panels are so much here you can see if we have uh, 20 people surfing uh, our website right now we're going to see 20 right here so we don't have anybody uh, in our website after that we move to locations this is where you're going to see the location of uh, the person that is presently online in your website right here we don't have anyone here and we have the traffic sources right we don't have anyone so there is no how we can see where the person is actually uh, uh suffering from and the next one here is content also this is where we can see uh, the particular page or post that the person is actually surfing on right so let's assume the person is uh in our contact us page we are going to see the contact us page right here all right so that's that for this. We can check the event. We can check your conversions and the likes, right? After that, we we'll move to the audience. We can check our audience overview here, right? Right here, we're having 11 users. Uh, we're having 10 new users. On the 21st of May, we had 11 sessions, right? So this is where you get to see all the statistics here. This is our uh, new users as the one having this. So returning users is just 9.1%, right? So this is where you can see all of that. Then this, uh, these are the country. If you click on country here, you're going to see the countries that visit your website. This is uh, India, this is Nigeria, United Kingdom, Greece, Indonesia, Singapore, South Africa, and the likes. Then you can also select by city, all right? Select by city. You can also check the browsers, all right? When we are talking about introduction to live host, we talked about how to test our website with browser. So right here, you can check for uh, the browsers that are mostly used to surf your website. So you can test your website to see if the pages of your website are performing well in these browsers. Right here, you can see we are having Chrome. After Chrome, we are having Edge. After Edge, we are having Android web view very very important then right here we can also check the operating system android windows linux macintosh then we'll talk about the service providers uh, also the operating system service provider we'll talk about screen resolution also very important you can see this is 360 by 820 this is uh 393 by 873 and the likes all right under the overview these are what you are going to see there then we have the active users all right, this is uh, a chart of the active users. Uh, this is for one day active user. If you click on seven days, you're going to get another graph. If you check the 14 days, you get another graph. If you check the 28 days, you're going to get another graph, all right? So just take your time to go through all of this. It's a long journey, all right? Take your time to go through all of these. You can view your website traffic report using the Google Analytics, all right? So it's important for you to go through your Google Search Console to add your new articles uh, to Google for indexing. You can also visit the Google Analytics to see the reports of your website traffic, all right? So in the next session, we'll be looking at content creation. So see you at the next section.